Right. Flip rate. Frequency of clip. Those are the two most common terms for what John Deere has defined here as the forward distance traveled between consecutive cuts. Frequency of clip. Well, a distance is not a frequency. Um, clip and it's not a rate clip rate and frequency of clip foc are misnomers a more proper term uh, would be clip pitch baroness uses this term they also use the term clip interval um, clip distance would be simpler more accurate term and simply clip is they're probably the best If we cannot see the clip, and we usually cannot, uh, we have to calculate it. If we can see it, let for example, if we have a fairway mower with a height to cut of half inch and a clip of one inch, we can easily see that and we can measure, let's say a, a, a foot and count the number of clips in that foot. And we can actually uh, measure the clip that way. And that's a good way to do it. <clears throat> um, you could then uh, decrease your mow speed by half, and that would ensure that your clip is half inch. Um, Anyway, if you can't see the clip, we have to calculate it. Um, and let me back up a little bit. The shape of the clip, the profile, if you're looking at it from the side, is generally the shape of a triangle. Uh, but uh, I've seen different... Um, representations of the shape. I've seen scallop shaped, uh, but in general, uh, we're, I think of it as a uh, triangle shaped. Uh, and it probably varies uh, significantly depending on the grain. And I've gone over that in another video. Uh, so there are three factors that determine the clip that's the mow speed or the ground speed of the mower. Um, and we use miles per hour for that. Um, there's the real rotations per minute, RPMs, and there's the, the number of blades. Uh, so the formula that I use is this one um, which is the easiest to follow, in my opinion. So let's use the example of a mower that's traveling three miles an hour. And the reel's rotating at 2,000 rotations per minute and 11 blades. So the first thing we do is take that three miles per hour and multiply it times 1,052. 1,052 is the number of inches traveled in one minute if the machine is moving at one mile per hour. If it's moving at three miles per hour, we'll multiply three times that 105 two and we get 3156 that's the distance that the mower is traveling per minute in inches and in that same minute 
if the reel is rotating at 2,000 rotations per minute, it's gonna rotate 2,000 rotations in that same distance. So if we zoom in, this is what it looks like for every inch of travel, the reel will rotate not quite one full revolution. So if we divide 3,156 by 2,000 RPMs, we get One point five eight seven inches. That is the distance that the mower travels as the reel rotates one complete revolution. Now, since this reel in the example has eleven blades, we're going to divide this distance into 11 uh, equally spaced segments. That works out to 0.143 inches. That is the clip. So we, this gives us um, 1.587 and we divide that by 11. So our clip is 0.143 in this example. Let me go back to this illustration really quick and just reiterate that each one of these graduations represents a clip. So the distance between this clip and that clip is 0.143 inches. What is the ideal clip? Well, that's for you to decide. I'm gonna do a separate video that covers that question. Uh, another question, does the real diameter affect the clip. I'll do a separate video that covers that concept also.